Greetings and welcome. Today we are discussing the Smoker Thunder Ski with Berserker Rider, one of two deluxe figures in the 1995 Waterworld Kenner toy line. Welcome to the Atoll, your home for Waterworld fandom. On this channel we discuss everything Waterworld, from the toys and games to the comics and multiple versions of the film, and discover what is now a forgotten, or perhaps cult status, sci-fi adventure franchise. This video will be taking a close look at the excellently crafted Smoker Jet Ski vehicle and action figure. Looking at the original packaging, we find some outstanding painted illustrations of the toy in action, but no mention of the word jet ski. Instead, this is called a thunder ski. This is most likely because jet ski is a trademarked name owned by Kawasaki. The actual non-trademarked term for jet ski is personal watercraft, or PWC. Curiously, however, it is mentioned in the Making of Waterworld book that Kawasaki provided 28, quote, state-of-the-art jet skis for the film, so it is interesting that Kenner did not get permission to use the trademarked name. Regardless, this is one of the finest pieces from the entire Waterworld toy line. An amazing amount of detail has been sculpted into this model. Like the jet skis from the film, the Smoker Thunder Ski is, quote, properly corroded to reflect the smoker's sea-ravaged decay. In the film, jet skis were modified with fiberglass engine heads and fins, and these decisions are clearly carried through to the toy. The Thunder Ski also has this funky external exhaust system. In the film, jet skis were modified with reservoirs and pumps that allowed for vegetable oil to be burnt creating the billowing smoke that rises from their engines. However, after some observation, it will become clear to the diehard fan that much of the design of the Smoker Thunder Ski has been based directly on the concept art from the film. This is an image from the Making of Waterworld book which directly reflects the Thunder Ski's odd mashup of both the sit-down and stand-up personal watercraft types. For those who don't know, PWCs fall into two different categories. The sit-down, which is a more recreational and runabout style craft that can hold two or more people, and the stand-up, which is built for one rider and is used more for racing and doing tricks. The Thunder Ski has a seat like that of its sit-down counterparts, but also has this raisable steering column much like that of the stand-up PWCs. Adjusting the Thunder Ski steering column up and down activates the blades from either side of the vehicle. This very insidious feature can find its influence again in the concept art, and also in Max Collins' novel adaptation, which describes the smoker's jet skis as being mounted with, quote, machine guns and chainsaws. And perhaps that reference to the prowl-mounted machine guns are also the inspiration for the projectile launcher on the side of the Thunder Ski, this launcher has a powerful spring that fires a yellow missile at a high eye-poking velocity. Moving on to the packed-in figure, the Berserker Rider. Like all the figures in the Waterworld toy line, the Berserker Rider is fantastically sculpted, with little details like stitching and fabric textures and the football pads that seem to be the uniform for the Smoker Armada. Lead costume designer John Bloomfield stated that he wanted the smokers to be in contrast to the Atollers being instantly frightening and strange. The head sculpt of the Berserker is a treat, with his beard and scowling expression and topped with an old-school football helmet. I believe the likeness of this figure is not based on any real-life person, but I have speculated it may be based off of Bob Montgomery, CEO of Power Ski, but we will discuss more on him in the upcoming Wave Ripper video. But what about that term, Berserker Rider? Where does that come from? A Berserker is actually a specific unit within the Smoker Armada. 
To quote the novel adaptation, Berserkers are brain-damaged semi-human smokers, huge, mostly bear brutes on water skis who shoot off moving ramps in order to catapult themselves into the air, hurtling themselves into flight, simpletons soaring blindly over the walls of the atoll where they would land inside, anywhere inside. And what about the backpack on the Berserker Rider that plugs into the Thunder Ski? What is that all about? Well, that too has an in-universe explanation. Again, to quote the novel adaptation, some smokers had been rigged to be self-propelled with go-juice pumped into rubber bladders they wore on their backs. The naive lads were unaware that they were human bombs. These small universe-building details found their way into the film, and it's great to see them reflected in the toy as well. Lastly, the Smoker Thunder Ski with Berserker Rider also includes this fluorescently colored gun accessory. This is beautifully sculpted and strongly reflects the props used in the film. This piece of concept art is probably what the toy designers directly referenced when creating the accessory. The Waterworld Props Department created over 400 guns for the film. Director Kevin Reynolds wanted it to seem as though the smokers had taken 500 years of junk parts and put them all together to build a weapon. Unfortunately, the Berserker Rider has trouble holding the gun, as his hands are more sculpted for holding the steering column of the Thunder Ski. Well, I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the Smoker Thunder Ski with Berserker Rider. Be sure to check out upcoming videos that will also discuss the Waterworld toy line and that will hopefully lead into interesting discoveries about this forgotten cinematic universe. Thanks as always for joining me at the Atoll.